Hello, everyone. It is a pleasure to be here uh, to speak on behalf of all the employees of Genomatica. Uh, thank you to Novamont for inviting us to, to participate. Uh, today is an important and a, and a momentous day for this region and uh, for, I believe, Italy as well, but also for the global bioeconomy. And for Genomatica, this is the fulfillment uh, of uh, a vision that we had almost 10 years ago for how biotechnology could transform the chemical industry. And it starts with a story very much like what we have today, but can extend far beyond that. So what I'm going to do is, is share with you a bit about the journey of the technology that is part of what powers the plant here that we will be have the opportunity to see later. So first, let me begin with a little bit about Genomatica and uh, our purpose as a company. We're, we're a technology company based in California, in San Diego. And, and our core purpose, as you'll see here, is to lead, as we say, the irresistible transition to sustainable materials through our technology, and most importantly, united with industry leaders. And, and there's no better example of that than, than what we are here today to, to see Novamont's plant and to witness the opening here. Collectively, this is about making the world a better place. Quite simply, it's about a better way to make many of the products that shape the world we live in. And that was the vision that we had about how you could use biotechnology to help shape the world in a better way than how it is today. That can't be done alone, and it has to be done in partnership. And as a company of Genomatica, we're, we're a technology developer. We're not actually a, a manufacturer of products. And in order for our vision and, and our dreams to take hold, it needs to meet up with people who have similar visions and even broader dreams, as Katya shared with you, around sustainable development and, and the circular economy. So, Novamont and, and Genomatica uh, partnered in 2012, as Katya had indicated, and, and I, I view this as a, first off, what we're talking about today at BDO is really just the beginning of what our companies can do together. We bring shared principles, uh, I, I will call it, that help to power this relationship forward. It starts with, uh, with really a, an innovation mindset. I think uh, we're both pioneers in, in our own ways and in, and in the different fields that we come from. We bring together a shared vision of what the world can look like. We also believe in the power of biotechnology, and we are seeing this firsthand uh, in this plant and in this project. Also, we have a passion for making the world a better place, and, it, and it's those shared principles that have made this partnership work very well, not just at, uh, at the level of the leadership, but, but down to the teams of people that are on the ground have made this project happen and work day in and day out to make this a reality. So this is, this is really a, a story about partnership. Genomatica itself is, is a, a privately held company in San Diego developing technologies to make chemicals, and BDO is the first one that we had developed uh, and now commercialized. We're about 80 people, and uh, most of those, as you might imagine, are in research and development, uh, technical degrees, focusing in areas of chemical engineering to biotechnology, uh, chemistry, and a, and a range of other capabilities. We are, are in a position where we've developed full capability sets to engineer microorganisms and combine that with engineering principles that allow us to deliver technology that can enable the construction of plants to manufacture these chemicals in a more renewable and a more sustainable way. So we think of ourselves as an engine for innovation and no better example than what we are here today with. The, the technology capabilities, I, I will, of course, not spend time going in detail. I think the simplest way to describe what we've been able to do is that we've been able to demonstrate innovation. And that is going all the way from the start of an idea to commercial realization with a suite of capabilities that we believe can repeatedly be used to develop newer and greater technologies to continue to drive a new future for the chemical industry. And really today is the symbol of, of that innovation 
with the Matter Biotech plant. This is a, not just a symbol of butane diol and not just a symbol of local development, which is an amazing story here, but this is a symbol of a global story, a global story where the chemical industry is looking for ways to become more sustainable. I think Wayne put up a, a great slide that spoke to some of the motivations of chemical companies throughout the world today. Those that are at the forefront are trying to deliver more sustainable technologies to make the world a better place, to deliver the same, in fact, better products than they do today. This project symbolizes that, and this is the beginning of what we believe can be done on a much broader scale for the industry and for the world. So an incredibly exciting achievement. So how is this plant powered, in essence? What is the technology that makes it happen? Uh, in 2007, scientists at Genomatica conceived of the idea that you could take a microorganism and you could potentially design that and engineer that to make a chemical butane dial. This is not a chemical that's made naturally by microorganisms and it's not made from sugar by any microorganism that's available today in the world. So we really had to think that we could create something completely new, completely novel. And that involved taking advanced computer technology that we had developed and pioneered at Genomatica to design a microorganism, to figure out how could you take sugar and convert that into a chemical like butane diol. So we went about to do this and actually uh, engineered in uh, about four months time back in 2008 from these interesting designs that we had, the first microorganisms that produce butane diol. Now, today we have a commercial plant that you'll see that produces thousands of tons of butane diol, tens of thousands of tons of butane diol. These organisms first produced basically a tiny drop of butane diol, nothing that would have made any economic sense. And so a lot of work had to go on to improve the efficiency of these microorganisms to be able to convert sugar into butane diol very rapidly. So oftentimes people talk about the power of this technology is its simplicity. In other words, there's just one reaction that occurs. Sugar is converted into butane diol, but it happens within a microscopic factory, a mini factory inside the cell. So this sugar molecule here is converted inside the cell into a series of other molecules that eventually ends in butane diol. So there's a machinery inside the cell with hundreds of moving parts that is converting these molecules ultimately into the product that we desire. Now here on this slide, you will see something that took about 15 to 20 seconds. Inside the microorganisms that have now been highly optimized and that are operating in this plant, that sequence of reactions occurs in nine microseconds. So nine microseconds and that reaction set can occur. It's fascinating and that's the power of biotechnology. We start with uh, an amount of cells that uh, by weight is probably the weight of, of an ant. And by the time the fermentation is done, it's probably the weight of a, of, a, of a large elephant, for example. And it's producing about four or five times more weight of butane diol. So these are just some of the numbers that uh, are fascinating inside this type of technology in the plant. Now, fermentation in the microorganisms is just one part of this. We had to design a, a complete process design, sort of a basic design to be able to produce butane diol, and that was done in, in 2009 with the first pure samples of butane diol that you could then test to see if they could be used to make products, to make products like what Novamont is advancing. Then we had to take a technology and eventually start to scale that up from the lab. And over the course of a couple years, we moved from a pilot facility where we showed that the technology worked in pieces in different places. And then we had to put it all together into an integrated demonstration plant and show that that worked to ultimately be able to make tons of product at a time that we could then ship out to more potential customers to see whether the product would work. 
And it was probably around this time when we were introduced to Novamont. And actually, uh, to echo what Katya said, I thought back to that introduction, and that introduction actually came through Guido Gisolfi at, uh, at, uh, at that time. So uh, a pioneer who uh, helped introduce, uh, introduce us together and, and in a small way make this also possible. Um, we then produced at commercial scale campaigns to show that this could be done at, at a much, much larger scale. And that type of result, I think, gave confidence to the project that we have here where we're now seeing the world's first continuous production of butane dial in this facility. So this was a journey that took about five years to develop technology from concept all the way to commercialization. Five years. The prior example of this in the chemical industry would have taken 10 years prior to our example here. And now together with Novamont, this plant really will power continuous production of butane diol, tens of thousands of tons per year, and enable new applications for butane diol. So the partnership that we've created here, as I said at the beginning, we think butane diol is just the beginning of what we hope we can do together. And it is one that enables really a new application for, uh, for renewable butane dial, one where you can really highlight the environmental and sustainability attributes of butane dial. But to put that into context, there's actually a very large global market for butane diol, which is a chemical that's used not only for things like the polymers of, of Novamont and Matter B, but for a very broad range of other materials in the world. So the plant here is around 30,000 tons of material per year. The global market for butane diol is around 2 million tons per year. And this is the kind of technology that we believe can impact and shape the future of that market as one example of dozens of other chemicals that are in the industry and in the world produced. So a range of products that you use and touch every day actually have butane diol in them. And now we believe those same exact products can be made in a better way with a more sustainable environmental footprint thanks to technology uh, like what we've developed and a plant that Novamont has here. Uh, there are many different chemicals that shape the world we live in. From Genomatica's perspective, as I said, we're, we're interested in driving a broader transformation towards green chemicals or renewable chemicals. Or you'll hear the words white biotechnology or industrial biotechnology and the bioeconomy. All of these concepts really are about producing products in a better way. We think there are ways to produce many of them. Uh, we are developing technologies for a range of other chemicals and are excited about those, as well as interactions that we have with a number of other companies, including others here in Italy, to help develop these and champion innovations, just like what we're focused on here today with Novamont. Now, we actually announced a partnership uh, yesterday with another company in the US, uh, a company named Ginkgo Bioworks. And the reason I bring this up is quite simply, the power of biotechnology is advancing rapidly. Our ability to engineer microorganisms, our ability to design manufacturing processes is speeding up by the day. And this is a company that has developed uh, sort of semiconductor-like foundries to help to speed up the process of engineering organisms. So we already developed a, a, a real new standard in developing technology in a matter of about five years for butane dial. We believe that that timeline can become even shorter with further collaborations and partnerships like this. So let me, let me end by saying simply that the bioeconomy has an incredibly bright future. And that is not because of the efforts of just you know, one group or even a collaboration of companies, but really a collection of pioneers and entrepreneurs and leaders throughout the world that are trying to champion this. And, and in this project specifically, there are many, many people to thank. Um, and on behalf of all of the people at Genomatica, I'd like to first and foremost thank, of course, uh, Novamont and, and Katya's leadership. And rather than putting up the individual's names, I put up the, the five adjectives that come to my mind when I think about Novamont and I think of this project and our interaction. And you'll see them here. Leadership, 
vision, courage, drive, and determination. I think that characterizes what, what we have seen here over many years with Novamont, and I'm sure we'll continue to see going forward. Of course, this project wouldn't happen if it wasn't for both regional as well as national support. And I think the, the vision of the bioeconomy that Italy is at the forefront of is really something that can be modeled throughout the world, and we hope to see more of that. Uh, of course, none of this would be possible without the financial support from a range of investors, both uh, in terms of investors in Novamont, Genomatica, a number of other locations, and specifically the plant itself, uh, an incredible, uh, incredible support. And, and most importantly, the team of people. There are, are uh, a collection of people who aren't here because they're operating a plant, because they're making this happen every day. Um, there were hundreds of people that helped in constructing this plant uh, and making that happen, and vendors and, and so forth. But today there are, are people who are operating this plant, and there are many people in the audience who were critical to making this happen, uh, from constructing the plant to operating it ongoing and making sure that this becomes a symbol of, of a greater hope for a greater in, uh, impact on the world beyond just what is happening here. So thank you very much uh, for your time and, and for uh, the opportunity. Katya.